We have a mass extinction of life only matched by the loss of dinosaurs. And what is really remarkable, it is being caused by one species, our species, and even more remarkable, we're probably the only species that truly understands impact and understands that when we do something, there will be an effect. So we know better, and we still allow these, these unfortunate things to happen. If you were to wonder, or if your question is, what are the big things that, what are the big factors that are causing us to lose life on Earth? And by the way, extinction is not unknown to our planet. 99.9% .9 of anything that's ever lived is extinct. And if you were to look at the biology and the biodiversity of our planet today, it is paltry compared to what it was millions and millions of years ago. But this is our world, and this is what we have, and it's pretty incredible for our brief window of life as a species on this planet. And if you were to say, what are those things that cause the problems? They are four major things. And no matter who's becoming extinct, chances are it'll connect to these four things. Habitat loss, Hawaii knows this. Climate change, Hawaii will be feeling this if it's, and, and, and is, I think is feeling it now. Environmental degradation, pollution, we know this, it's universe around the world. Species exploitation, human beings not using species in a sustainable way. Black market trade in wildlife is second only to narcotics and guns. It's a $20 billion a year industry, and it is driving many animals to extinction. In Hawaii, it's all those things, probably not the black market per se, but maybe. And then invasive species. Does anyone know how many mammal species? I feel like I'm being interrogated. By <laughs> Just you know, big cataracts by the time I leave here. Um, does anyone know how many mammal species live in Hawaii today? Anyone take a guess? How many? Two live in Hawaii today? There are 40 species of mammals that live in Hawaii today. Only two are native, the hoary bat and the monk seal. The presence of invasive species is devastating the wildlife of Hawaii. Feral cats, feral mongoose, feral dogs are outcompeting native birds and, push, and eating them and pushing them to the brink. It is just a huge, huge problem. And the challenge to try to manage that is, is, is just you know, really incredible. Um, with regard to actual habitat loss, there's a great amount of effort right now in Hawaii to, to restore a lot of the traditional forests and ecosystems that are here. And, and for me, what makes Maui so special, I think Maui, I truly believe this, Maui ha has a chance to be a model for conservation. It has a chance to be a model for conservation because of the natural resources, the renewable natural resources that can allow the people of Maui to be completely self-sufficient and minimize their impact in the natural world. You have incredibly fertile soil. You have, you have 12 months a year of great uh, plant-promoting weather. You've got great wind. You've got great sun. You've got hydro opportunities. I think you've got geothermal opportunities. There's so many things that you guys, that we in New England don't, in February in Massachusetts, where no one's thinking of running up a, a, a solar panel. Um, but here, you guys have these incredible resources available to you. And I think that will be the secret to protecting the resources of Hawaii as a model for the whole planet is taking advantage of what you guys have. But Hawaii is such an incredible place. And, in, and I think it's just once we have the opportunity to truly manage these invasive species here, I think there'll be a great opportunity to see great prosperity in, in, you know, in the natural world.